Well, I'm back. Anyway, you're probably thinking, where the hell you been? What's happened? All the Probably not. You're probably like, oh, I forgot this guy even existed. But I'm back, living in a different state now, currently living in North Carolina. And uh, frankly, everything is kind of all right. Not to quote, uh, well, not to, well, to quote Charlie Daniels there. But yeah. Anyway, so what are we doing here? Well, I kind of got ahead of myself. I was going to go on a whole spiel about what's happened with my life and all that. I got a kid on the way, got the love of my life, all that, but I'm pretty sure y'all are here mainly to watch me drink beer and maybe drink one with me, hopefully, because just drinking, just sitting here watching me drink beer, it's a little odd. Grab a beer yourself. Anyway, what are we, what are we reviewing? It's been a while since I've been on camera, so speech isn't quite there yet. Anyway, we're drinking Sam Adams Flannel Fest. It is a Munich Dunkel. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this up. Of course, this comes out of Boston, Massachusetts, or at least the brand is from Boston, Massachusetts. I don't know exactly the contract brewing situation with the folks at Sam Adams, although if I had a guess, they'd probably have some uh, contract breweries. But it's 5.2% alcohol by volume and 20 IBUs, and I got my computer up, which, there you go, I got a computer. There's another development. Our uh, whole budget went from the price of a uh, like three-year-old iPhone to the price of a two-year-old iPhone and the price of a refurbished computer. Nothing fancy. I mainly use it just for playing NASCAR racing 2003. If you're a sim racing fan, then you know what's up. And I was going to take this and I was going to put a graphics card in it. And I was honestly wanting to see what I could do with just a single core um, i7 Intel processor. Then turns out, oh my God, I'm going to be a dad. Maybe messing with a computer and spending money on a graphics card isn't so necessary. You're probably also like, well, you're also spending money on beer, but hey, just we're not going to talk about that. Anyway, um, beautiful beer. Dunkel's, of course, a Dunkel is a dark German lager, and uh, you could you could tell me this is a brown ale, and I would, um, or a red ale even, and I would believe you. Very kind of ambery, maybe in a copper in there, but a beautiful beer with a khaki head. It dissipated quickly, although I didn't really pour it all that aggressively. On the nose, it kind of smells honestly uh, similar to the Sam Adams uh, Oktoberfest, which both are dark German lagers. That kind of makes sense. You get that sweet biscuity cereal graininess. Um, no hops really, just liquid bread. I've said it many a times on the channel, but a lot of these dark German beers, the main thing you get is liquid bread, which perfectly fine with me. I love bread and I like beers, so beer that tastes like dark bread, very rich bread, or bread crust even. That's totally fine with me. Anyway, you didn't come to see me look at it, didn't come to see me snort it, came to see me drink it. So let's get on down to it. Oh, that's good. It says here, I got a got it pulled up here. Beer Advocate gives it an 85 out of 100. And the folks over at Untapped, uh, we're looking at almost four out of five stars, 3.8 currently right now. So, yeah, we also got some Twitter updates here. We're not gonna get into that. Anywho, let's see. Also, it looks like I misspoke. It says here, according to Beer Advocate, we're gonna click on this real quick, that um, instead of Boston, Massachusetts, it's, it said, where did that go? Jamaica Plains, Massachusetts. Never heard of it. I'm guessing it's probably a suburb of Boston though, if I had to guess. Hmm. It's honestly, a Tastes a little different from the, <clears throat> excuse me, from the first two I had. Now, of course, this is in the Sam Adams sweater weather, or that might have been what they called it last year. Whatever they're calling their um, their fall variety pack. Um, you got this. You get uh, an Oktoberfest. You get also. Um, 
Pumpkin, their pumpkin beer, the Jacko Pumpkin Ale. Very good, by the way, if pumpkin's something you're into. I'm pretty sure you more than likely will get, well, no, they I don't. They might not have included a Boston Lager in that. I can't quite remember, honestly, off the top of my head, but they did include a Hoppy Lager, which honestly, I don't think fits in the variety pack. Um, it's also just not my style of beer. I tried one, just hoppy. That was it. There wasn't, it was just a one note beer. Although, honestly, this is also kind of a one note beer. Um, but it's a note I like. It's pretty mild, very drinkable, as you can tell. Um, that's that's about it. Like it, 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 the taste follows the nose, and I've noticed that on most of my beer reviews, that's kind of what I say. I go, hmm, smells like this. Odds are, it's going to taste quite similar, and this is another example of that. Huh. What would I rate it though? Hmm. It's not a bad beer. Not a bad beer. Although, maybe I'm just not as impressed, or maybe the, I don't. I'm trying to remember what state of mind I was the first time I had this a couple days ago. I might have been inebriated. I don't drink nowhere near as much as I used to. Honestly, this past weekend has been the most I've drank in probably a year, and I had like, you know, a couple glasses of wine and a couple beers during the whole weekend. But I might have been mildly inebriated. But I'm not getting a whole lot off this. But what I'm getting, I am enjoying. But if I had to say the the Oktoberfest is still number one in the variety pack, at least at least this one. They did have the Fest beer last year. And if I could buy cases of that by itself, I would do that and just drink it year-round. That was phenomenal. But as of this variety pack... Uh, not quite the Oktoberfest as far as quality, at least in my mind. It's a little too just kind of meh. And honestly, this might be the most critical I've ever been of a, of a Sam Adams beer. Sam Adams is not known for, you know, it's technically craft, but if you look into it, the Craft Beer uh, Association or whatever it's called, um, Union, I, I used to know the name, but can't remember it now. <clears throat> Excuse me. They create the standards that craft beer breweries got to go by, and that mainly just comes down to how many barrels of beer you make. And I mean, Sam Adams is a national, well, heck, probably internationally known brand. You see commercials on television. They make a large amount of beer. If you go into any grocery store, they have Sam Adams, and most gas stations do as well. But the craft beer uh, brewers association, they keep raising that ceiling to where Sam Adams is still craft. For me, it's kind of craft light. It's a step above Yingling. Yingling is like, you know, your first little introduction to like, hey, this is a beer that is a little darker, tastes a little different. Sam Adams is a little bit further down the road, you know. Okay, you you want to get into beer. You want to try different kinds of beer. Sam Adams, here you go. This is an introduction to different styles, and this is kind of another example of that. I've had better Munich, um, I was about to say Munich Dunkels, but just better Dunkels and Ugh, I can't talk. Better Dunkels in general, but I don't hate this. If you gave me a, you know, one of these at a party, I'd drink it, and I wouldn't complain at all. I wouldn't seem as critical as I am right now, but I'm reviewing it, so I'm, I gotta be critical. Uh, like I said, earlier, Beer Advocate gives it an 85 out of 100. I don't know if I would go that far. I'm leaning towards seven. Yep, we're doing a seven out of 10. Also, even though I now live in North Carolina, still got to rep the dogs, and we're still hunkering down all fall, of course. We got South Carolina coming up. Um, the first two games this season for the Bulldogs has been nothing special because we played nobody special. We played Ball State um, this previous weekend, and the weekend before, we played someone who I honestly couldn't tell you off the top of my head. I could Google it right now, but it really doesn't matter. They're a nobody team, just like Ball State, at least, you know, no offense, but at least in comparison to SEC football, but we got South Carolina this weekend. I was kind of excited for that game. I wanted a 
more competitive game, at least. I mean, you know, I still knew Georgia more than likely beat South Carolina, which, I mean, the game hasn't happened. I shouldn't start running my mouth yet. You never know what can happen. But after the way they played against UNC, I'm not expecting much. But anyway, back to the beer. We're going 7 out of 10. Let's, let's see if I can remember the whole spiel I used to do at the end of my reviews. Um, make sure to like, like, I say like, right? Like, rate, subscribe if you care to. Well, you can't rate it, actually. We don't, YouTube doesn't do ratings anymore. This ain't 2008. Make sure to like and subscribe or don't or do. I mean, it's up to you. And spade and neuter animals. And don't forget to kill your local pedophile. Have a nice day and a pleasant tomorrow.